Welcome to the Startup Grind. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. We are Startup Grind Prague. Uh, can you hear me, all of you? I'm just asking if it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Startup Grind was founded in 2010 in Silicon Valley uh, and from the time it spread all over the world till 250 cities and there is involved around 1 million entrepreneurs. Our mission is to help every entrepreneur in the world. That's a really bold statement but uh, we are working on it. We're working on it. And uh, we have some core values which is giving before taking, helping others and uh, making friends not only contacts. Today, I would like to give a big shout out to Google, who is, our, who is supporting us uh, globally, but locally as well. They have some uh, pretty good programs like Digital Garage, where you can find many things about online marketing, you can get some personalized learning plan, and after the completion, you will receive the original certificate from Google, and all that for free, so you can try it. And uh, three more things. Uh, please don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook. We really appreciate it. Uh, secondly, if you have any questions during our interview, at the end we have a section with a Q&A, so we will have space to ask them, and we will definitely try to answer them. And uh, finally, and most importantly, I ask you uh, to help anybody in this room, maybe just uh, create some meaningful connection or offering advice or uh, giving feedback or, on their ideas. Also, I would like to give a big thanks uh, to Swedhoop for this amazing venue. And today, we have a very special guest. It's the uh, founder of Zaslokovna, an angel investor and great entrepreneur. Please give warm welcome to Simra Kjankova. So uh, now let's go back uh, to the beginning. If you could uh, tell us uh, where are you from and now uh, what did you do uh, in your childhood? How did you grow up? Just um, information. It's not really a funny story. So um, <laughs> I tried to be quite short. Uh, so, um, I was born in Kalavaris, West Bohemia. There's somebody who's not from the Czech Republic. And um, I am from the uh, family who um, Mother and father got divorced when I was 13, and I have uh, two sisters and one brother, and I'm the oldest one, so I think <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay, and uh, did you have uh, any idol or something? Uh, maybe have you ever thought uh, when you were a child that uh, one day you will become an uh, entrepreneur? If you have... I think it happened, uh, it happened when I was uh, 14, because uh, when I was 14 I started work, and I think uh, my job uh, was from waiters, like a usual job when you're in the high school and you need the money. So, and I think that uh, I look um, under the fingers of the entrepreneurs where uh, what I work for. So I think that uh, you know when you are 14, 15, uh, you can be um, uh, be honest uh, to tell you that uh, you are doing something wrong. So I was just wondering that one day I would like to do these things better. So and I had a dream that I be an entrepreneur one day. Yeah, and now you are. <laughs> it happens, huh? Okay, so and uh, I know that uh, you actually studied uh, two universities uh, at the beginning, and uh, maybe uh, what was your major? I think that it was uh, finance and marketing, so it's uh, totally different from now. Both of them, they um, it's everything about uh, entrepreneurs because. Uh, I was dreaming about it, so uh, the first was about finance and the second uh, management and marketing, so some steps what you really mm -hmm. need to know about uh, how to run the business. And uh, did you have uh, any job during your uh, studies? Years? I think I think two or three in the same time, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, at the same, um, um, my mom, uh, she, was, she really wanted me uh, to stay home because uh, I helped her with the kids and mm -hmm. um, uh, when I um, when I uh, passed the exam at the at the university, I didn't tell her, and uh, I just uh, stopped the car to the uh, to the Umstein Adlaban because my first university was there, and I told her the last uh, week when I left the home that I'm leaving alone without money, without no future. Mm -hmm. So. And I just stopped the car and uh, left so you, the you home. So you really know what, what you like to become? Mm -hmm. uh, you did have, uh, have some goal and uh, you just uh, go to achieve it? Yeah, that's right. 
Great. And uh, during your uh, study, you uh, also had a uh, few jobs. I, I just uh, would like to mention, uh, how did you come up uh, to the job in a hospital in Ustí nad Labem? Uh. <laughs> you know, when, uh, when you have no experience with the uh, in some management or in some economies. So um, it was just one uh, job that was the free uh, in Ustí nad Labem and uh, I, um, I had um, I helped in hospitals, there, so I cleaned the hospital and I helped the people. And I think that um, ten thanks this experience, because I worked there uh, during three years, uh, three years, I think that um, uh, it's it's humbled, uh, that uh, mm -hmm. you really have humbled and uh, uh, you really um, have love with the people. Yeah, and I know that uh, in the hospital you actually started in some uh, position you will help the people and after that you you, you were uh, starting and beginning with uh, some things about around IT there, yeah, it's a, it's helping a, it's others with the computers. It's, it's, really, it's really a funny story because uh, uh, my first because because you have like huge dream and then you have like small steps, still small uh, dreams and you just go a step by step. And uh, the first small dream was uh, to earn money for some computer because uh, I really want to do um, something around IT. So uh, my first money I put to the computer and um, uh, I really developed uh, some things and I uh, made uh, websites and uh, I created some websites. Just it was, I think, my uh, just, just hobby. Mm -hmm. And uh, one night, <laughs> I think uh, I work in the hospital uh, already two years maybe. And I, um, I, ha I, uh, I worked during the night and uh, one nurse uh, was crying uh, in the room and I didn't, maybe, uh, I, I had a feeling that somebody needs to help so I, I asked her like what's wrong and if she's okay and uh, she just, <laughs> Uh, she almost um, uh, cut the computer that she does. She didn't know how to use it and so on. So I helped her uh, with all the things, and she asked me like, "And you work here as a what?" And <laughs> I, I just answered that I'm like hospital or ordinarily that um, I'm just helping. And uh, she picked me up from the from the growth, and uh, she let me grow up, and uh, I became to uh, be assistant of uh, my nurse there. Um, but just I work with the computer. Okay, so during the day you were uh, at the university and you were studying so with the books. And during and the and nights, during the during night, the nights uh, yeah, yeah, I worked with the computer. Helping, uh, so I was really lucky. <laughs> Okay, and uh, you have the, um, and after that, so you you were studying uh, in, in uh, Ustí nad Labem, and after that uh, you keep continue to yeah. University of Economics in Prague. It was the second. It was the second step because um, actually uh, my dream was to, uh, to um, become to be entrepreneur in Prague. Is, of course, uh, it's a dreamy, dreamy uh, area um, for all the entrepreneurs. So I was dreaming dreaming about it, but. Um, um, I, may, I passed the exam uh, for uh, University of Prague, but uh, I couldn't come to Prague because I didn't, um, uh, I didn't get dormitory here. Mm -hmm. So I got, I got dormitory in Ustí nad Labem. So that's why I, uh, it was my second step in my life that I really want to, uh, uh, want to um, uh, go to Prague. So uh, I, I do it uh, again. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, during, uh, did you have uh, any experience with uh, work and travel during your uh, studies or m maybe uh, to US or uh, anywhere? I Do you have any experience? Yeah, I, I think as, uh, as everybody uh, in 2002, 3, before, after, everybody want to attend uh, work and travel. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I, have, I have been in, uh, in the US uh, during seven months and uh, I, was, I was wondering about uh, to stay there. Okay, and uh, why? Because of why? the climate, <laughs> because of the uh, people, or because of the because opportunities? Let's, let's, go, uh, let's go back in the beginning, when I was uh, 14, 15. I had really dreamed that uh, I will run the business uh, with, um, uh, in gastronomy, and I was wondering about franchise. Uh, some franchise, some American franchise, who can run like, or around all the Czech Republic. And um, uh, when I... Uh, uh, when I came to, uh, to uh, America. Mm -hmm. I just um, worked for the uh, network of uh, these uh, pubs and it was qu quite interesting mm -hmm. because I worked for them during this uh, seven, uh, seven months. Mm -hmm. And then um, I go to offer, dream offer, 
to open the franchise here in the Czech Republic. It was uh, 2003. And I was so lucky because at the first uh, feeling, I was so um, proud for myself that I could do it. It, uh, it is fulfilled the dream. But uh, there was one thing what I am um, wondering. Condition. Some condition about I'm wondering that is not right uh, because I really want to be a partner for them. I want to put my own money. I want to become to be a real financial partner mm -hmm. and I want to run the business. But uh, the management, American management, then they just look after me like a good manager. But they didn't uh, want to give me the chance to become to be an entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. I was just wondering that um, I can fulfill my dream, but uh, this one condition uh, wasn't fulfilled. And that's why I decided not to um, uh, agree and uh, mm -hmm. Don't, so don't do the deal. No, so then want, wanted to have uh, some uh, another uh, employee, but you would like to run your own business. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just great. So, so uh, okay. And uh, after you uh, finished uh, studying, so you're back uh, from America. Uh, what was your uh, next steps? Uh, did you uh, start to think about some uh, some uh, your own business, or uh, did you get uh, any other offer? Uh, where, where to work? I know that uh, you were uh, at that time in uh, Tacoma, where, where you start, and uh, right uh, after uh, the school, uh, you just uh, get an offer, uh, go to the board of the company. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> how, how was it? <laughs> uh, when you when you apply for a job and just bring CV or just like two page, like all the jobs and all this experience, uh, um, I became to be only a marketing manager in Tacoma. It was uh, one year after I um, uh, finished finished the university studies. But uh, it was quite, quite interesting because um, my duties uh, was just everything about marketing. And um, I didn't agree with the um, uh, tools, uh, marketing tools, what would use my firm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm uh, stubborn all the time. So that's why I, uh, I came to the, to the owner and I told him just, you know, um, I think we need a new website, we need uh, new tools and uh, how to um, address, address the uh, clients and how to do business. And um, he just asked me, like, Simona, we are, uh, we are just uh, uh, advisors, you know, we are not like marketing agency. We don't know these online tools and online, online things. So um, I just started to do it well by myself, like during the nights as well. And uh, uh, then I brought a new, um, uh, new websites and uh, uh, new online uh, tools and I start to communicate uh, with the various applications and uh, um, my, my boss was so, so surprised. To so innovate. Yeah, I try to I, I actually innovate. I, I oh. change all the systems <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I overwrite uh, the uh, old websites and uh, he just asked me like who, who overwrote it and I just answered by myself. And uh, because I, I thought that uh, this way uh, that we are able to address uh, our clients by a better way, and it happened. Suddenly we had uh, uh, we had clients from Asia, from <laughs> from America. So it was quite quite interesting. So uh, he decided to uh, take me up, mm -hmm. and I became to be a member of the board. Uh, and board there were sitting around um, nine nine people and just the three women mm -hmm. and all, uh, all of them, they were lawyers and advisors. So it was quite interesting. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, just uh, I would like to say that uh, without no uh, IT technical background, just uh, that you will, uh, you will humble and you will try to learn things quickly during the nights uh, when when you are studying. I and uh, right now you, you just uh, call I really the I really fell in love. I really fell in love in all this uh, develop and developing things in IT. Uh, because I uh, saw that that's the future, mm -hmm. so I really fell in love with it and with the, all these all these tools, and uh, that's that's why I use it uh, during my uh, jobs and job experiences. Okay, and uh, how was the board we, we, uh, after you joined the board? Uh, you were the one of these uh, nine people. Uh, how they were feeling about it that uh, you so 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 young. Uh, sm smart woman Actually, would like to uh, change things here? Uh, mm, my happiness was that I was just one uh, one woman who can I uh, use all these online tools because you really didn't know how to use it. They were um, um, ex 
experts in their like advertising mm -hmm. and uh, and um, a legal illegal side and um, I was just one who can help them with the other and I think that uh, it takes maybe uh, six months and I became to be like a real partner and mm -hmm. uh, they um, feel me like a like a partner beside them but it takes some time okay um, and uh, okay and uh, after this uh, opportunities uh, you keep continue to oriflame so uh, this uh, another sector with uh, with uh, pr with marketing and uh, when we are t t talking uh, about this experience that uh, after the really uh, little time you just uh, get the opportunity to uh, go and present uh, uh, in front of uh, 500 people? Uh. On the beginning, I have to uh, tell you one thing, because um, we didn't tell it, I think. Mm -hmm. um, all these jobs, it was just, I wanted, I wanted to learn something. I, want, I really wanted to learn how to run the business, how to um, uh, use all these experience, uh, meet some people, uh, try to uh, pick up the contacts. But the most important thing that uh, if I uh, want to start a business, uh, I really need the money. And uh, I think that uh, this is a quite quite interesting thing because currently I meet uh, startups uh, on a daily basis and they have a dream. For example, yesterday yesterday I had a presentation and there was one woman who was quite young, around uh, 55, and uh, uh, she uh, worked in chemistry. Nothing what I understood. <laughs> And, but uh, it was quite interesting. She's, uh, she told me about her idea and uh, about uh, the startup and everything. And I asked her the first thing, like, if you want to uh, start a business this year, how much money do you have for, you know, open a business? And she answered, nothing. I, I want to ask some investor to help me. And I just, okay, let's say this year's, uh, this stands, mm -hmm. let's say. It's, um, it's quite interesting that every single person who, who want to start a business, they just come with that, that you are coming and you give them 20 million. But uh, it's not real. It's not real time because you have to, you have to really be stubborn. You have, to, you have to open a business and your first money has to be yours or your families or your friends. Not that dream about it, some investors just come to you and mm -hmm. just Okay, you really you <laughs> you look I really like you. nice. <laughs> you really you uh, look really nice. Just I give you twenty million. It, it, it's not like real life. So that's why I knew that, and um, I just uh, try to work as a dog. Mm -hmm. I think at uh, the time I work really hard, and uh, I just put uh, two thirds of my earn earnings mm -hmm. on the side, and uh, I earn uh, first million. And otherwise, I was so lucky that there's the time to open a business. So, so uh, this was some of your goal, uh, like a financial goal, yeah. which, which you like to uh, achieve. And uh, after that, uh, did you think uh, which direction you would like to uh, invest this money? Uh, yeah. What was the Do you really your want idea? to Maybe listen IT to IT fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this fuck up yeah. guys. <laughs> we are. It's it's a nice almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. All the, t all the time I was dreaming about to be an entrepreneur and be uh, successful and uh, but I didn't really know uh, the real way if is it marketing or gastronomy and uh, all the time I had uh, this thing just before me but I was I was blind I didn't see it uh, for the first time. So uh, because I work in marketing, I was quite successful and uh, I ran the, you know, I knew all the people uh, in communication, marketing, media, mm -hmm. and I could pray that media at that time. Uh, so I decided to open a media agency in uh, Old Town Square, near the Old Town Square with uh, um, in very nice offices with um, a quite nice team. And I start work for a brand, for example, Vodafone. And uh, everything was like um, on the, Seven heaven. Mm -hmm. I feel. I, I felt like uh, I'm a real entrepreneur, and I have like huge, huge They're team, and ev everything. Everything looks really successful. But um, I started the business in uh, 2008, and uh, suddenly, after a couple of months, I recognized that um, recession came, that the economy was uh, wasn't stable anymore, and that uh, mm -hmm. all the all the um, things it like uh, fall down. Now. It was yeah. It yeah. started 2008 mm -hmm. to 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, my nice clients call me every, every week, like, Simona, I really like you, do a very good job, but uh, we are truly sorry. Our uh, owners, management, they cut the budget, so 
uh, we uh, can't cooperate with your agency anymore. And it was clients by clients, you know, like one month, one, the second, second. And we try to just um, uh, make it equal. And mm -hmm. we try to uh, um, find new clients. But the recession was really uh, hard. And uh, we had a team uh, with this, um, all these um, uh, three months um, withdraw, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we had this uh, nice offices, so I lost uh, half of the million. In my eyes, in my today's eyes, it's not like huge money, right? But uh, at the time, um, I was, was, I was really money. wondering if I really want to continue. I just uh, sat in the darkness because all the time when I want to uh, talk with myself, I close myself in the darkness and I talk with me, with myself, like mm -hmm. Simona, which way, right? Straight, I don't know. And I try to uh, um, ask myself various uh, answers, and I try to uh, answer myself. Mm -hmm. So it happened in uh, 2008 at the end, and uh, 2009, 2009, I closed the agency, and uh, I was in the darkness, and I had a sh I had a chance to uh, go back to the to the corporation because I was really quite uh, quite uh, quite good. Because you I have think a I could, background with yeah, the I could, I could be, so I could, I could uh, start as marketing manager or some BD development manager, whatever you want. And I was just worried and wondering about it, but just very for the f very few minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, because I always uh, had a problem that uh, um, I have my own visions that I want to do it uh, better and uh, different way than the, the others. So uh, I'm not like a good um, good person under the director or under the manager team. Uh, I'm stubborn again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's quite uh, hard like, to work with me uh, for from my uh, subordinates and partners currently as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I just uh, told myself, you know, you have to run some business by yourself. It's not so you can open the pub or something mm -hmm. like that because it's business what you what you knew from America and from Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. But suddenly I recognized it, Simona. Your hobby is IT. I di I, I didn't study it. I, it's just my love. It's just my hobby. So and it was like, yeah, that's it. I can I can develop some website and e-shops for e-shop. And suddenly, I, ha I had um, I had an idea, so I started to run an IT firm, and um, uh, I had um, many many clients, and uh, the agency ran a two hundred and fifty thousand monthly. So In my today's eyes, is not enough, but that time I was like oh, again, like I'm really good. So, so you were looking for some uh, freelancers who would like to uh, yeah. um, help you with the code and you know uh, like uh, when it, when you have uh, when we have this experience but fuck up uh, when uh, you don't open the offices in the old town square anymore mm -hmm. so I start uh, from my flat <laughs> <laughs> with freelancer of course and no more contracts <laughs> and um, yeah it was step by step and we became to be quite successful and this agency mm -hmm. uh, is working for big clients um, Suddenly, uh, is it uh, still working? Yeah, it's still working. Yeah. And it's a, it's a huge a company now. It's like they have very nice clients now. Okay, and uh, from the time, um, what was, was the my first exit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, this, uh, that's true. That, that this is what was your first exit, the, this company, and uh, there uh, became uh, the idea for uh, Zaslokovna. Uh, so uh, how, how was it? Because uh, yeah, you were working for uh, e-shops, you, you were creating uh, their web presentations, uh, and uh, fr from uh, some moment they, uh, they have some, um, you know, maybe they were interested in uh, logistics or uh, how it's come up? I think that it wasn't one moment, it was step by step again, mm -hmm. because it was the first client, second, then 10, then 50s. And uh, all, the, all, the, all of them, uh, they told me, Simona, you know, this uh, no name post <laughs> is, no, is no work, so by our requirements. And uh, the, the, all these logistic, uh, logistic firms, they don't meet our requirements. And, uh, you know, uh, we just start a business, but we want to be as Alza, CZ, what is the biggest mm -hmm. e-shop in the Czech Republic. And uh, we dreamed about to have uh, the network of pickup points. I was just wondering about, okay, pickup points, logistic, French cheese, 
because I was all the time, all my life, I was wondering about this franchise basis because it's really a uh, workflow in America. So I just decided to uh, start to develop system for Zaselkovna with my mm -hmm. colleagues from uh, IT firm. And um, I just <coughs> fell in love in this business. I knew that uh, it will be successful, so I start uh, to develop it, mm -hmm. but uh, when it was finished and um, during the summer 2010, I recognized that it's not workful at all because I didn't know I, I didn't know anything about logistics. So it was like just recognize that I'm quite good in IT mm -hmm. with my team because I try to develop all the things like barcodes and API. You know everything what supposed to be in logistic, but that time it it wasn't there. So and uh, we uh, develop some like sm uh, smart applications and mm -hmm. so on and everything communicate with everything, but unfortunately I didn't uh, know uh, I didn't have the real knowledge about logistics. So, so you didn't so have the experience which would you we like have to, to use. We have to learn. We have to learn um, uh, up to our uh, mistakes. Every, every single day it was like, okay, we have to uh, uh, override uh, this code because it's like sucks. We have to, you know, it's slow. So again, so we like crazy. Mm -hmm. So we closed uh, the developers. We closed uh, during uh, uh, six months and not darkness, but uh, in my flat, mm -hmm. we just, <laughs> we closed the flat <laughs> and we develop everything. Um, but uh, another fuck up. <laughs> And, uh, I just I just rec mm -hmm. I just recognized that and found out that uh, the um, uh, system would be developed and we try to overwrite that is not enough that um, unfortunately I don't have the knowledge for that and mm -hmm. my colleagues they didn't have the knowledge mm -hmm. because uh, it was a lot of things um, what we had to develop so um, uh, I was wondering about to uh, hire some freelancer or some um, uh, IT guys, so then I ask IT guys from Brno, it's a nice time, nice, nice town in um, uh, Moravia. And um, <laughs> you're from the Czech Republic, but I think that uh, some of them, they didn't know that where is it. Is there anyone, um, from, uh, anyone from Brno? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's okay. from Brno, you know. It's like after Prague, no it's the second, <laughs> second biggest. <laughs> and um, uh, I asked I ask this, uh, ask this agency to help me with the system. And um, we developed it, we developed it during, uh, I think, seven months. So another seven months, we developed the system by my um, uh, uh, proposal and uh, my uh, requirements. And um, during the time I was pregnant, I had my first baby. And it was like a really crazy time at the time. Uh, you know, system uh, wasn't enough for the clients and I lost my biggest client at the time. It was uh, Xprafem in mm -hmm. CZ. They told me, Simona, we are really fine, we are really like you, but uh, we'll come back when the system will be better. It's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be ready for them because they were like really big, uh, big issue. And I was so sad and I just, uh, um, uh, I just uh, tried to fix everything, fix it up. And uh, then I met on one IT conference, some guys from IT, and uh, we just uh, stand behind a bar and they asked me about a system. So I told them, you know, like, you're so proud for your baby. You know it, right? And I tried to uh, explain him everything, like, uh, about, uh, about our application, how it works, and uh, the, uh, what, what, what is the system, what is the language, and everything. And they just listened to me a little bit and answered, could we visit uh, your uh, suppliers with you? Can we, can we, um, can we go with you to, uh, for the presentation of the system? Because it sounds quite interesting that the proposal is nice. So, uh, so um, uh, I was lucky because there are three uh, very smart men from IT and I feel some support, you know, that somebody want to help you. Uh, so I took them to, to Brno for appointment and uh, all the th all the all the time during one hour they worked up, and I just they just uh, keep listening uh, the presentation and I just uh, negotiation with my my supplier, and then they answer me, uh, Simona, could you uh, go out for a while? And outside they told me, don't use it, don't use it because uh, the system it's it's quite dangerous for you because. Um, it uh, wasn't. Uh, it was. It was application, but was on uh, offline. It was on a uh, Microsoft basis, mm -hmm. and um, you need something else. You need really a uh, fast, fast moving uh, system who uh, help you to go abroad because you're mm -hmm. dreaming about to go to the uh, other countries. So um, don't do it. 
So, and um, be honest, I uh, lost another 700,000 um, because I had to pay it, uh, but uh, I made a decision, thanks to the, these three guys, what I knew maybe three days, um, I decided don't uh, use it in my system. And I came back uh, to Prague and uh, I was in dark <laughs> darkness again. <laughs> so you put uh, all your money to the system which you, yeah, an application yeah. which you didn't want to use it because yeah. it's not uh, like for uh, good for your vision and I would like to um, develop uh, mm -hmm. your company. And uh, uh, did you have any uh, mon money, rest of the money, which, which you uh, would a like few. to do <laughs> another development? Or only, only because a few. it should be a really <laughs> a difficult decision. Only a couple, uh, couple of hundreds of uh, thousands, so I was just in the darkness again and I was myself, okay, it's the second time. Mm -hmm. But you have the decision if you go back to the corporation or if you're going over. Mm -hmm. And um, then I pick up the phone and I call the guys, all these three guys. Uh, they were from South Bohemia. And I asked them, hey guys, would you like to be a strategist? And uh, they answered, what does it mean? <laughs> 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 and um, I asked them to um, uh, beca uh, become my partner. So um, I uh, told them uh, that I give them option of the, of the firm if they help me with the system, with all the tools. And um, now they, they are my partners, they are in the firm as the mm -hmm. IT guys and um, uh, they answered, they didn't know uh, anything about startups, about how to run the business, they were just good IT guys. And I wasn't a good IT guy anymore, <laughs> so I needed help. So that's why I made a decision that I won't, uh, I won't really a uh, smaller percent of one billion than have 100 for nothing. So that's why I made a decision to hire the three guys. And I just uh, told them, sorry guys, I don't have any more money. You have to work for free. And just agreed and it was fun. So we just started to develop again <laughs> for the third, but, uh, third time. <laughs> but there, there was a condition, if you are successful, that they will be with you uh, as a partner, that you will take them as the partners mm -hmm. uh, in your company yeah. in the future. Okay. As the option for the future, but you know the system. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and um, in that time, uh, you were fr from that point, uh, you were uh, starting to grow. So, so the guys uh, obviously really helped with the whole system, with the whole application. Mm -hmm. And uh, you starting uh, started to open uh, the pickup locations around the Czech Republic. And uh, was there some uh, point? Because uh, in the same time, uh, you were starting to have uh, some more competitors. Because uh, you already uh, have uh, Česká pošta, uh, DPD, so uh, was it uh, really difficult to uh, be on the market and to provide this kind of service? Because, uh, yeah, I know it was with the A shops, but uh, uh, was it uh, easy uh, to manage it or? Uh? Be honest, uh, I think the Czech Post, CPD, and the HL they didn't uh, know that we exist really, mm -hmm. uh, and I think they really didn't care about some small uh, <laughs> crazy startup in logistic. Um, and uh, we had a real uh, competitor who was uh, Loženka mm -hmm. CZ and um, they just um, uh, complain in, uh, in our area, in our, um, on our level and all the time they um, uh, told about us that uh, we are really crazy to uh, use uh, franchise uh, in logistic that is not like workful and it's like a really crazy idea and uh, how you as a customer can pick up the um, Sell in in grocery mm -hmm. and or grocery whatever that is not workful and um, I knew that uh, we have a true because uh, it uh, this system is working in um, best uh, best Europe and mm -hmm. uh, France and uh, in Belgium uh, so I just trust myself that the decision is right and we just step by step we try to learn the market. It was really hard, <laughs> you know, because uh, the first time when, because I tried to uh, go off, um, to uh, over talk uh, my first partner, first franchise by myself. So I went to Ustí nad Labem. Do you know why? Because I studied there and I knew everything around uh, Ustí nad Labem. Mm -hmm. So that's why I decided to went there and uh, to stand uh, at the square in the middle and I just look after the, the, all these groceries or these uh, shops, offices uh, where uh, are some partners. And I think that I look uh, like, um, you know, some crazy person with looks that I uh, want to sell you some product. 
and uh, uh, a lot of people didn't uh, understand what I am plan to do that uh, you know like I really want to close in my IT world and it was quite uh, hard to explain because you really love the business you really understand your business but try to explain it some small entrepreneur in the middle of nowhere it was <laughs> it was quite hard he d looked after me that I'm really cl crazy person and that, and what I really want to from you mm -hmm. and uh, maybe 10 person he was listened to me and told me, you know, you, it's really crazy idea, you know, connect this online people with this uh, retail people. Mm -hmm. It sounds like fairy tale, so maybe I gonna agree. <laughs> so I was so happy that I uh, came back to Prague with the first entrepreneur who um, who trust me and uh, who start the business with me. So I had my first franchiser, and uh, since the time, mm -hmm. I think that we became to be just very grew up. Uh, we need we needed the first step. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. And uh, okay, so you have the IT guys, you started to have uh, the pickup locations and uh, you have a really good potential and uh, everything is growing. But uh, after that, uh, you have some uh, point uh, where, uh, because you were CEO of the company and uh, I mean in 2013, in 2013, uh, we were just uh, thinking about uh, maybe move on uh, on the another level and uh, looking maybe for um, another investment. Uh. Maybe maybe it was uh, it was a little bit uh, different story mm -hmm. uh, because um, let's speak about the how to how to run the business mm -hmm. like how to manage the firm. Uh, I think uh, that I'm quite good um, uh, manager for startup. I know how to uh, push the hands, how to uh, tell you, let's go, we just born the, born the word, whatever. And um, um, I ran, I ran um, this business from the beginning this way, with this uh, very like, uh, nice attitude, and I managed uh, 30 people. And uh, then something happened in 2012, again, I was pregnant again, um, but it's mo it wasn't a reason. Uh, what about your husband and family? Uh, they were su supporting you from the uh, whole this journey. Actually, not from the be beginning because my mom, she, um, she, I think she uh, doesn't understand uh, until these days what I am really doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, she thinks that I run some camion. Maybe mm -hmm. I, dr I am driving some camion. I, I, I don't know. And um, my husband. Uh, uh, Finally, he's entrepreneur as well, so he's helping me a lot. But uh, it was a uh, couple of times he told me, Simona, just uh, screw up uh, and just finish the business, and just you can do whatever you want. You can be just you know five five hours in some office to be whatever marketing specialist, something like that. You need to do what you do because he saw me in very um, bad time. Sometimes I cried. I really cried, but. Uh, uh, when I had to make uh, a really hard uh, decisions about the money, especially, uh, sometimes I cried. I'm a woman, so I, I tell you the truth that I'm not so strong as I look like. Okay, and uh, to the, uh, run your uh, own business, uh, what do you think that uh, at the time was uh, the most important to you to run and uh, um, grow as fast as uh, you wanted? Uh, probably it was uh, definitely the IT department, maybe after that uh, some uh, great uh, manager, uh, team of managers, directors, which we... Which I think, I think there, are, there are a lot of things uh, together. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a quite hard question because mm -hmm. the first, I think it was great idea. There was uh, the hole on the market and we just pick up the hole. You know, we just jumped on the market. We tried to create new market because this market, there were, there were new pickup points in 2010, 2011. So we were the first, maybe second, we don't know, but the, we were really the grow, growest, uh, the most grow, growest up or fast growing up. And um, then the second are people that uh, all the time, since, since the beginning, since, uh, since the time when I asked these three guys to join me uh, in startup, uh, I think since the time I just uh, try to uh, pick up very smart people from the market and just took, took me around me. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, in 2012, and back to your question about the management, 
Um, I just be honest to me, Simona, you can't manage, manage this firm anymore because you have to um, uh, you have to work with the people different way because uh, we, we hired drivers and the people who work in the de depots and it was quite another um, uh, kind of our level of people and I have to, it, it wasn't IT guys anymore. And I just uh, be honest to me, I couldn't, um, I could couldn't communicate with them. I learned everything how to communicate with the uh, with the drivers and uh, with these people. So I was wondering about the, that. I need help again, and I made a decision that I try to hire a CEO. And uh, it's a funny story because. Uh, um, um, I trust the God, and uh, I was at the church every every uh, Sunday. Um, and I met one guy there in the church and I just look after him that he's quite nice to the people and he ran his own business, another startupist. And um, um, I think I have known him during the whole startupist. Yes, and I tried to uh, look after him during uh, six months and then um, I told him, you know, you, I really like you. Just come on and join it into my startup. And he didn't want, he didn't want because he ran his own business, right? So, but uh, because I was pregnant, <laughs> I asked him, like, you know, I really need help. And could you just look after my firm and tell me what I do wrong and just help me a little bit? And uh, yeah, we have uh, cooperated already uh, for uh, four years now. Okay, maybe uh, right now I would like to just uh, ask you about uh, the culture of what you are trying to uh, create at your company and uh, how, how would you describe it? I think that on the beginning I have to um, uh, set you somewhere about and I have to tell you something about the firm that uh, now we have uh, 1000 and uh, 90 pickup points in uh, Czech Republic, Slovak Republic, Hungary, Romania, uh, Poland and Germany. Uh, uh, we have uh, 350 employees uh, and uh, at the end of the year we'll count with uh, more than 400. Mm -hmm. So we are hiring like <laughs> crazy now. And um, we cooperate with uh, 40,000 e-shoppers, mostly from the Czech Republic mm -hmm. of course. And um, what was the question? It's a little bit marketing. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Um, question was uh, about uh, company culture, and uh, after that, I would like, uh, yeah, about company yeah. culture and uh, uh, the hiring. Main, and yeah, the main the main message is, um, I think that um, we need to keep the startup is a feeling in the firm that is the most important when uh, you are startup is on the beginning and you have like this huge corporate and I, and for for example now we finish financial audit. Could you just, if you tell me in 2010 or 11 when I started mm -hmm. um, that I will have financial audit and I will work in these six countries and I export to 10 countries, that I will, uh, I really get this point, I wouldn't believe it. Because I really want to um, run a huge, huge business and I want to uh, really, I was dreaming about to ju jump into the business. I really was dreaming about this franchise network I really want to um, fight with the Czech Post. I can tell you the truth, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't believe that will be such a huge that we'll have like uh, 400 employees or uh, this uh, uh, number of the uh, of the pickup points mm -hmm. because we draft uh, the business plan uh, only for uh, next three years, <laughs> and uh, in 2010 the numbers um, were like uh, that. I will I will be really uh, in depth. Mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, first three years, so I really was. <laughs> so totally different numbers after after the end because uh, from uh, 2000 uh, in 2015-16 you have a uh, two million uh, uh, turnover, and uh, actually, uh, yeah, we have we have now we uh, will have turnover of uh, forty uh, thousand uh, for 400, 400, 400, 400 million. millions. Yeah. So you are almost dub double. So the growth is uh, really... Yeah, year by year we are doubled. Okay. We are n not 10 times like Kiwi, but doubled is <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, and um, okay, so uh, because uh, I read that uh, if you are looking for uh, the 
people to your uh, manager team uh, to the, for, for the directors uh, you are uh, trying to give them the chance to work at a warehouse as well so <laughs> they have to uh, you are trying to uh, create a culture where uh, all the people are uh, know the all the activity uh, all the major activities in the company. Mm -hmm. So after that, they could be uh, better leaders and uh, better managers. So this is the some uh, strategy which uh, you're trying to do from the beginning, uh, from now yeah. on. Yeah, you're you are right. But uh, this is a currently strategy. Uh, but okay. uh, but uh, just uh, come back to uh, 2012 uh, because uh, that time I was wondering about to change myself and to hire the CEO. Uh, because it was right, very good decision. Because that's I think that you have to do it in one day. Because you are uh, very important for to push the firm, for to dream about another dreams. And I think that we are in various countries and we uh, develop uh, crazy things and we do innovations. And it's thanks uh, me that I all the time I try to push the firm very to be fast, to be the first. I don't look after what uh, my competitors are doing. I don't care. I just uh, look after them. Okay, they have like, these numbers of pickup points, and I don't care. And uh, I think that the winners are the the people ask me mm -hmm. for the su success. Like, what is the message of the success? And I think that um, it's um, uh, to be uh, to be first, to be uh, very innovative, and to uh, bring the vision uh, for the market. And uh, now I uh, develop with my innovation team another application that mm -hmm. we want to change some part of logistics as well, but not through the jump to the on the market like okay PPL, DPD, they do the, this way. But I want to change all the system mm -hmm. again. So uh, and I I can do it because I don't run this 400 people. I don't do it. I just uh, I'm going between them all the time. All the time I work six hours a day now but um, I am just uh, between the people and uh, I try to um, uh, develop a good attitude uh, with in my firm that I am uh, talking with the people I am cooperate with the developers and um, I, I try to uh, ask them and uh, to uh, pick up the feedback from them uh, from the di directors as well but um, the m my main um, um, responsibility is innovation to cooperate with IT push up the firm and uh, to do business development definitely not to mm -hmm. manage the team and hire the people and do the things and uh, that's, that's the difference, I think, that mm -hmm. the, all, all owners or let's say founders has, has to have this role. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, if I'm uh, looking at it right now, the Zassel Kovnat was a typical startup from the, from the beginning uh, till now. And um, beside uh, Zassel Kovna, you are uh, as well a um, very talented angel investor because uh, you are in the um, uh, size ID, my PS, and uh, I know that uh, two months ago when we were uh, at Joffin at some event. Yeah, we met. We yeah. met. I didn't tell you the truth, <laughs> right? I just told you that I'm preparing something crazy again. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I know that you told me that uh, right now you are working on uh, some project which, which uh, will uh, change the um, uh, entire industry with uh, different kind of uh, services. Uh, and I, I think that uh, it uh, so okay, could you give me uh, okay. uh, give us more information maybe, about maybe it? Maybe uh, firstly I'll tell you about uh, SciSID because uh, when I uh, start to earn some money I was so happy, you know, like, oh, okay, my firm is so grew up and uh, since uh, 2013 uh, we, are in, uh, um, we are in profit, so we um, make a break even in uh, 2012 and we were so lucky, it was like a lot of champagne in the firm and uh, since the time like we are quite fine and uh, I don't, I don't, I love traveling, you know, I really love traveling, but uh, even I put all the money into a nice car or some crazy things, as a man sometimes does, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I put the money, earn money to the uh, startups again, because I think that uh, if you have this happiness, you, can, uh, you, you, you are able to help to the others. And uh, it wasn't like my decision, by the way, that, okay, you to be angel investor, because I was just, I think I didn't come with this idea. It, it some happens, you know, it's, it happens because I attend uh, one uh, conference where I had a speech and um, 
two very young guys, they were like 22, 23 from IT. Uh, they uh, came to me to, for help, for mm -hmm. help, because I was, um, uh, I had presentation about another countries, um, how to uh, put your startup in Hungary, Romania, whatever, the Germany, and I had a speech about it, how to work with these countries, how to hire the people there, and uh, about this bureaucracy, it's like fun story for another one hour. Mm -hmm. So we don't have enough time for that, but you can ask me <laughs> like when, uh, during uh, Q&A. Okay. Uh, but uh, they asked uh, they ask me, you, uh, Simona, you are quite clever and experienced from these countries, and we are wondering about uh, Hungary, but we are on the beginning. And Mm -hmm. we don't know anything about that and we need some help and as well we are trying to uh, negotiate with some investors and could you just uh, look after the page and tell us like if everything's right if uh, we can ask some investors so and we start meeting mm -hmm. we start to negotiate and um, uh, after a couple of meetings they didn't ask me but suddenly wow in darkness again I was like okay, they are looking for investor and I can be investor because why not? And um, uh, they, they tried to, they negotiated mm -hmm. very in, uh, with very smart guys who all of them was sitting on this chair, right, already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, mm, uh, that's, I became to be an invest investor in Sales ID and uh, thanks um, a couple of points that I think that uh, Sai City is a very nice idea because and this idea is very close to my business, you know, because it's application. Again, application, it's IT, would I li really love and I'm uh, fully in love in this business. And um, I think that uh, uh, it was perfect idea how to help uh, the people uh, with the buying the goods from the uh, fashion e-shops. And uh, it's like crazy things because um, uh, there are a lot of um, returns in uh, fashion uh, from fashion, and I, I knew it because I have this big data in my metric system. Uh, so I, I learned that uh, this is really a huge number of returns, and uh, this system, this application, is helping to cut and um, uh, to cut this number. So it's like very helpful. And uh, there were no competitor. Uh, one is in Sweden, I think, but it's like, yeah, like just some guys at the university they started a similar startup. So we decided uh, to um, uh, develop because it, they were really uh, on the beginning. So I helped them with the uh, seed money. Really, they uh, they and they really put their own the money. What they had, they put a startup. You know, they uh, they really put their own money. They, it, they were so young. You know, and they put everything what I had. They put to the to the to the startup, and um, we started to develop. And uh, I tried to help them. And uh, uh, for example, I told them, guys, we have to uh, develop a business side for e-shoppers. It's very inter in, it's very important because on the beginning they didn't think about that they mm -hmm. will we will hire the e-shops just through the application on on website. Mm -hmm. So uh, you didn't have any? Uh, did you have any criteria how to? choose the uh, particular investment on the startup or uh, it was uh, just I think I think that if you if you uh, are wondering about mm -hmm. investment mm -hmm. you have to um, invest in something but do you really know the market mm -hmm. and I think that the issue is my life I uh, I have cooperated with uh, uh, with issue since 2008 mm -hmm. or 2009 and I know, oh, I know the market, and I think mm -hmm. I know almost everything about the market. And um, I knew a lot of things from, from my metrics, right? Mm -hmm. so, um, so that's why I was interested about uh, this um, e-commerce application. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel really helpful, not only because of money, but, but because of contacts. That I really cooperate with all of these fashion e-shoppers already, mm -hmm. that I can help the guys to kind of connect them with the e-shoppers from the fashion side. And I think it's mm -hmm. the most important. You really need the money, but you really need someone who will take your hand and take you, to, uh, take you to the contacts, take you to the clients, mm -hmm. take you to the market. And I think it's the most important to help you with how to do it. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I think that... Um, so you actually, uh, did you look for some uh, numbers and uh, some potential to grow and yeah. everything? So you, it makes sense to you, yeah, okay, uh, I'll put the investment here because, okay, great team. Okay, I know, the, really I, I know the marketplace. And now, now and you, you, you really uh, tells, uh, tell uh, the most important thing. Good idea is not enough because I, I told you in the beginning, I usually meet people uh, every single week Yesterday I met uh, 
20 of startup best <laughs> who want to open the business or, or they open and closed and did the business already mm -hmm. and they uh, try to open another one and uh, these guys they was they were so high experience even they were so young they were so smart so um, like they were really seniors in their their age mm -hmm. that uh, they drove the pitch like uh, on really Google level it was like and uh, they and what what is really interesting that they uh, start to um, uh, develop uh, with the um, uh, languages who will be here like in two three years. I mm -hmm. think that's the most important. For example, in my the other startup on Iran, uh, we develop on React. If you know this language, is the same um, is the same um, system on um, who what use for example Rohlik CZ or Amazon or mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook, let's say, yeah, okay, we know Facebook. <laughs> so, and uh, React uh, is quite uh, interesting, it's a very um, young language, but what is the problem? That to, to try to hire a developer in React is quite hard here in the Czech Republic because uh, they, do you know, there may be some, somewhere is some developer in React, so just join me. Do you know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> And um, uh, these guys in, uh, in size ID, uh, they work uh, with the uh, good systems mm -hmm. as well. Okay, and uh, after the, your uh, final project, uh, it's uh, Robito. And uh, this, uh, because you, uh, when we are talking about it, it's a totally different approach uh, how we are right now working with uh, Robito. And uh, maybe another question, how are you uh, working with uh, uh, these startups? It's more about that you would like to uh, actively participate in the startups mm -hmm. or it's more a um, uh, passive way that the startup, uh, startup is, is going uh, towards to you and uh, ask for of course, money and maybe some. Okay, uh, I have to tell you that uh, currently uh, I'm shareholder or the owner or co-owner co of uh, seven firms in the Czech Republic and mm -hmm. uh, six uh, abroad. Mm -hmm. And Robito is one of them and uh, it was my idea. Um, that um, I had some interview uh, with television, uh, it's uh, two years ago, and they called me that uh, they need me at the other part of Prague and I have to get there during one hour. And it was quite a hard job because I was alone with my three kids, you know, and I had to um, find somebody who helped me with the kids. So I um, opened open a PC and tried to uh, find somebody on the internet. And I finally, after uh, tens of minutes, I phoned some, someone who agreed to come at the s some, some time. And uh, when I jumped in from the house and waiting for the person, he didn't, she didn't come. She didn't come. And um, uh, I, was, I was so nervous that I almost didn't catch the time and uh, everything was crazy. So uh, I asked my neighbor to help me. It was uh, um, 86 old woman. I took <laughs> her because she couldn't, uh, she has like problems with the legs, so I took her from her house, brought it to my house, closed the door, knocked the door, and um, I was just, <laughs> I was, was just... Was she okay with that? Um, <laughs> no, yeah, she didn't speak as well. Um, so, <laughs> and I, I ran to the interview, what I didn't catch, I was really late, and um, on, the, on the way back, I was really quite upset, you know, I was like, it, doesn't, it was so, so hard to get there mm -hmm. and why it doesn't work, why I couldn't find anybody on the internet so long time during 20 minutes. I was crazy to find some information and to mm -hmm. find somebody and uh, then um, when, I when I make the deal, mm -hmm. she didn't come. And I, I would cry to the world that she's really a bad person I, and I, I couldn't, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could just write somewhere on the internet and nobody read it. And suddenly came the idea. I was like, I'm really lucky with, um, um, with some applications mm -hmm. because, okay, I, I couldn't tell you, but <laughs> I, um, I really loved the Uber when I uh, travel abroad, but in the Czech Republic, I love really Liftag, of course. And um, mm, I use Liftago, I li really use Liftago almost, uh, almost every day. Trust, um, I have a, fl a flight there like a good customer. And um, a bit commercial? <laughs> um, it's not commercial uh, 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 time, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, this application is our future. 
and uh, I was wondering that uh, it, uh, it can be helpful for me as well and I didn't sleep that, uh, that night. I, I, um, um, I start to draft the proposal of the project that uh, I can connect the people with the services and it can be helpful as Liftago. Liftago <laughs> is um, uh, connected to people who, who need a uh, taxi and Airbnb connect you if you need uh, housing or to, um, uh, to live somewhere and abroad as well. And uh, I was wondering about to find you somebody who will help you with ev all the services you need. All, all, of, all of them. Of activities. Not erotic services, but everything <laughs> else. <laughs> okay, so that's the how we came up idea with the Robito. And uh, right now, I would like to ask you, uh, what, what, what is the biggest challenge for you as entrepreneur? From all your experience, what was the biggest challenge uh, which you have to achieve and overcome? Um, be entrepreneur. I think I meet my dreams or I met my dreams already. Mm -hmm. Everything would uh, um, come now, it's just bonus. Everything. I'm really mm -hmm. successful, I'm really happy when I am now. I think I'm, I'm humble, humble mm -hmm. that um, I really, um, I don't want to be more successful or more rich or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, if uh, you earn some money, that uh, the most important is to try to uh, bring something back to the, um, to the community. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm helping startups a lot. Okay, um, I can't help anymore with the real project because now, because now I run, um, I run uh, five businesses and I know that uh, it's enough for myself. But in two years, maybe I mm -hmm. do some exit again and I can help other people. But I, I'm trying to help them uh, with my, uh, through my experience, through my fuck-ups, what I uh, did bad or on my way. And uh, I try to connect the people because um, uh, I think that the community of investors is uh, quite open mm -hmm. uh, to discuss or made a discussion with the startups and it's really nice that uh, uh, Czech Republic is very special uh, mm -hmm. on, on this level that uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think uh, startup is seen as uh, uh, very uh, or quite quite large here in the Czech Republic and there are uh, a lot of places for the meeting negotiation and accelerators mm -hmm. and um, we are we, we have quite educated and are very experienced investors as well I'm just I'm not maybe talented I'm just um, uh, I uh, just became from startup is to angel investor, but I am like uh, the youngest one uh, from from this experience. That okay. uh, Ondra Fritsch is maybe even even, and uh, Ondra Bartos even mm -hmm. a higher a higher experience. And uh, if you uh, because you ma mentioned the Czech scene, uh, but uh, you as well have some uh, experience with the uh, UK or maybe US scene, uh, e-commerce scene. Uh, do you uh, do you see that uh, in uh, some er areas uh, we are um, better, or uh, is here maybe some bigger potential in uh, other uh, e-commerce mar markets, maybe uh, UK, US? What do you see the main differences? Uh, regarding uh, UK and uh, America, they are three years uh, before us. We are in some zero, mm -hmm. and uh, all the Eastern Europe is as uh, so we are. Czech Republic is before mm -hmm. Eastern Europe, let's say uh, Bulgaria or Romania, we are um, uh, three years before them. So now if you are e shopper and you are wondering about ex expansion, so I think the first step is our neighbor Slova Slovakia, so the guy here friend from <laughs> Slovakia. So it's like really the first step. And I opened the business in Slovakia in 2010 already. My first pickup point was in Ostrava, the second in Bratislava and the third in Prague. It's interesting <laughs> that I tell you why. Um, but uh, uh, it's a real way to Slovakia, to Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, because we are so smart, we are so good, um, uh, our e-shoppers. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have a lot of e-shoppers here, around uh, 30, uh, 37,000, it's quite a high number. For example, in Romania, there are only 4,000 e-shoppers and they, are, uh, they have um, uh, 19, inhabit 19, 19 million inhabitants. So we're like ha huge, like um, uh, buying power, it's like mm -hmm. bigger, but the number of e-shoppers are um, smaller. 
Um, that's, mm -hmm. that's why that um, internet connection is not like uh, very good like in some uh, mountain area as well but uh, it's like very nice uh, um, uh, country uh, mm -hmm. where to export or run the business. So we have a pretty good potential uh, maybe with, uh, with the coding we have uh, really good uh, human resources here. I think, I think that uh, we are very specialist for mm -hmm. U UX. Mm -hmm. Because if you compare uh, e-shopper in uh, Hungary or in Romania and Bulgaria uh, with our e-shopper uh, mm -hmm. in the Czech Republic, our UX level and uh, all these um, our systems are on the higher level than in the countries. That if you uh, export and, and trade this market, you are the king. Because uh, and they don't know the application. And uh, what is interesting, uh, the, um, uh, the number for, uh, for, for of sales from mobile phones is even higher higher than in the Czech Republic, mm -hmm. so we really like, uh, we used to sell cell phone, uh, sales on cell phone mm -hmm. around 30 percent and uh, in Romania it's over than 50. Okay, and uh, a final question, what I have, uh, what would you uh, suggest, uh, for example, for a startup is here in Czech Republic who would like to uh, get an attract an angel investor? What would be um, the three uh, key uh, highlights which would you like to mention? And uh, on the opposite side, what would you mention? Uh, what is uh, what would you suggest uh, to the investor who would like to look for the investment? What do you think on the first side and uh, another side? Mm -hmm. Three, four points. Um, at first, uh, you have to be prepared. That um, the first thing uh, you have to have a very good vision, and you have to trust your vision. That is the most important thing. And uh, second, uh, you have to uh, stand the team around you because um, startup is a very hard position. You have to be uh, a very good economist, you have to be a good manager, you have to be a good marketing uh, person, you have to be a good IT guy, you have to be a good negotiator, you have to uh, know how to manage the people and you have to learn all the things uh, every day. And you have to be very open to learn everything. And if you don't know all these things, what I just uh, mentioned, uh, you have to ask these colleagues, as I did, these three IT guys or whatever, or somebody, if you, really, uh, if you're not, if you are not ready to do the sale. Just ask your uh, colleague from the university or some partner to join you and to become to be a salesperson. And uh, I think that if you are, for example, um, if you are uh, trying to ask the investor for, uh, for the investment, it's not really good to be just uh, alone. Okay, I have an idea and I'm alone, 100%. <laughs> I think it's not, um, it's, it's not good feeling for the investor because it's not testable that you know everything what I just mentioned, that you are a crazy IT guy and you do all these marketing things and sales things. And uh, you can ask uh, the investor that I have a very good idea, I am developer, and you investor, you help me with all these sales, contacts, whatever, is not right. You have to be really prepared with all these things. You have to have a prepared very good pitch with, with, with this business plan. Uh, I think uh, now acceler various acceler accelerators can help you uh, what do, how to draft the pitch, how to um, fulfill the b business plan. It's not like a hard job because you know what you do and um, I think that uh, the most important that the idea would you trust has to be uh, something what uh, will be here in two, three years. That you have to think about future, not about real, t real time. Because it was quite, um, uh, quite interesting that I, yesterday I, I met a lot of people uh, after the conference the, who want to be startups or they run some startups or run some business. And um, uh, one, one woman came to me that she's a startup, a huge startup. She uh, ran uh, one business um, uh, close, to, uh, close to the center of Prague. And uh, she uh, ran the business with uh, a dress when she, when she uh, tailored made. I was like, and do you have e-shop? Not yet, but it will be. And how many uh, pickup points or uh, shops do you have? Only one. And uh, how many customers do you have? 30. Okay, I, I don't think so that this is startup, you know, because I don't feel any innovation here. And mm -hmm. I think that the second thing, uh, not even vision. This, this woman yesterday, she had great vision. She had a great brand and she loved what she did. That, that's it. But it's not like a fast going up startup. You need to um, have vision uh, to um, 
uh, calm weather idea was uh, very innovative. Mm -hmm. You have to think about what do people will need in three years, not what we need now. Yeah, because I think like Robito would I uh, would I am trying tr to run. It's a blue ocean. It's a really blue ocean because, um, for example, if uh, Tomáš Chopper would sit uh, at this ch as the chair and you would ask him uh, how we came uh, with the idea of uh, to um, let people uh, buy uh, food through internet. He would tell you, okay, it's in abroad and uh, it wasn't in the Czech Republic. You couldn't even believe that there'll, there'll be someone who will bring the idea to let you buy food from the internet. Or 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we couldn't imagine that we, we would uh, buy the fashion. Uh, through internet. So I think that now there is the time for all the P2P platform. Uh, that the Airbnb and Uber there were they they have been just the first. Mm -hmm. But uh, now uh, will come a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, new project who would uh, connect the people from real side from and we don't know now uh, what what will be the business because maybe it would be an advisory <coughs> it will be maybe in be medical side I think that the um, best growing up uh, startups will be connection between medical um, and uh, this health health thing uh, and IT and innovations mm -hmm. and uh, uh, when we put uh, health and medical things together with inno innovation and uh, technical equipment uh, we put it together <coughs> I think there will be the most successful startups so if you have the startup and you really don't un uh, you really understand uh, this um, uh, medical side I would be investor like in one way <laughs> I don't have money anymore because I put everything in a robito but I will bring <laughs> something so from somewhere because I think that that is You'll the be happy to I would be really <laughs> happy but, but, uh, in this side, okay. that because that's the future, because uh, the population is uh, getting uh, um, older and older and all of us, they will start to um, <coughs> think about how to be healthy. You know, if you, if, you, uh, if you visit my office, and you are really welcome in my office, uh, there are sitting uh, maybe 100 people in like uh, we have one floor and it's not enough because mm -hmm. we, we are moving to the other floor. So we'll have two floor of uh, offices now and we have like uh, seven depots already. And if you would come uh, to visit me there, there, uh, there is uh, 100 people and they are bringing to food to offices. It's interesting. And uh, they eat uh, all the healthy things. And I was wondering about, they are young, they are, you know, why they are doing it? They are eating some of these green things and uh, I don't do it, <laughs> I, really, <laughs> I really love sausages and all these sacks. And um, I think that uh, really uh, these uh, young people, they uh, start to uh, think, uh, think about their health uh, and everything. So that's why I think that they will be the most successful startups. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, now uh, if you have uh, any questions, just uh, feel free to ask. <coughs> You mean with the people? Like, yeah, with the clients that you got like, to combine uh, them. Okay, now I'm ready, we can work again together and so on. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's, you asked me for the question as well. Um, I think that the, uh, from the beginning in 2012, uh, we built uh, the management team uh, from, the, uh, from our employees who were uh, uh, with us from the beginning. It was like the students and the people who I hired in 2011 because like, I hired uh, the people uh, from 2011 and they grew up with me in the firm and we, um, we made uh, 300, uh, 360 degree uh, interviews. I don't know if you know it. It, um, it's something that I put you on the chair and I, I ask you everything about your colleagues, about your partners around like and uh, uh, we uh, made this interview with all the employees in the firm. It wasn't so hard job because we had uh, 40, maybe 30, up to 50 people. So it wasn't so hard. And uh, we um, built management team from the um, uh, from from the up, from from down, we we took the people and we uh, pushed them up, 
and uh, after several years, um, uh, 2014 maybe, um, I just recognized that we need uh, another knowledge in the firm because this firm uh, started to grow up very fast. And uh, this kinder management, I, <laughs> I work with, <laughs> with this name, kinder management and firm, uh, we really needed help. Some one of them, they uh, grew up uh, with the firm and they um, tried to uh, find them some knowledge. But a couple of them, uh, for example, in especially in finance or in economy, uh, suddenly we needed um, a different level of knowledge. For example, uh, we uh, have had to um, big, we had to work with the, with the um, transfer pricing. For the, for example, I had never heard about transfer pricing before, so that's why we needed help, and we uh, start to um, hire uh, di directors and managers from from uh, from the market. Market. And it was quite interesting because I have one story. Uh, because during this time, I asked uh, the girls uh, in HR uh, to hire uh, some more uh, university educated people. And I, I mentioned students as well, like uh, to the depots. And uh, one day, I went to uh, uh, I went to for some uh, um, meeting, and some guy around 55, he was jumping to our car. I was like, oh, you work here as a four, as, as what? And he answered, I am your new driver. <laughs> and um, so it was quite, uh, quite, diffi um, uh, quite difficult so, and interesting. So I asked him uh, uh, for the CV and the CV was even better than mine. It was like five level even better. He worked as a manager for a time out. He opened uh, uh, retail systems and everything. And he worked for um, uh, business centers and he worked for um, uh, Ever media, and uh, I wasn't believed that this guy is jumping to the car. And uh, I asked him what he's doing here, and he, uh, he just answered, "I'm uh, waiting for some uh, um, finishing interviews because he was in a third level of interviews in at some position, and uh, he um, had some safe money for this time, and he just want to earn some more. So that's why he uh, decided to do this part-time job." You know, if you just uh, if you just wondering about to hire this person through headhunters, you would pay like um, hundreds and hundreds thousand. And he jumped me to the car. <laughs> so I have like a really great manager from uh, 2000, I think 14 or 13. He he joined me and uh, we are to, we are together a long time. And um, now in my firm, I have um, uh, 12 directors. Um, I'm not involved, and uh, there are 12 people who uh, manage uh, the um, uh, various uh, various um, parts of the firm, and half of them they are girls, and half of them they are men. Okay. Uh, you said that you lost clients uh, back in 2012. Uh, CZ. How did you get them back? When you get them um, <laughs> thanks for the question. Um, I send them a special email only for them. It looks like that it's an uh, email for everybody, but I send the uh, email link only for my um, lost client, what I lost. And I send him a special information that uh, we developed a new system, that all the tools are trustable now, that the returns are working and everybody's happy from that. And um, I just show them that they can trust me. And uh, after this uh, push, push mailing uh, for them, um, I try to call and uh, try to uh, negotiate um, that they can trust me. And I just told them, if you don't um, uh, open, if we don't uh, open the business together, you can kill me because now you can trust the system that I put my hand to the fire, that it's very good for uh, working. And um, after this pushing emails and uh, my negotiation um, through the telephone, they open uh, the business again and uh, they are still in my top 10. <coughs> okay, another one. Uh, you told that the uh, UK or US startup scene is three years before the Czech one. Uh, do you know, or can you specify the, the concrete areas or do you know some learning points which could be applicable to Czech market in order to, to grow faster? 
how to how to grow, grow faster. I think that uh, um, it's nice to visit Silicon Valley. I have been there in the autumn, and uh, I have been there with, with Google and with the other guys from startups and investors side. And it was quite interesting to visit a couple of startups uh, that um, uh, they are quite developed there. That um, I think that uh, uh, they are based on technical equipments, but we don't use it yet. That they really uh, play, uh, they really play with the innovation. That I think that we are so afraid to work with the innovation and the new equipments. You know that we are so afraid. So my um, manage for you, just visit, try to visit it or try to just Google it. Like uh, what are the innovation and uh, what the languages uh, would uh, on they develop on currently or to do what would be the future. Because I think that uh, all these tools, we don't use it now. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Uh, I'm actually wondering, here, given the number of interviews, uh, television, magazines, platforms like this one, what has been actually the most uh, interesting question ever you got from someone? Yeah? And what has been your answer? Could you share that with us? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine a number of questions to repeat, yeah? I mean, there's always you know, a set of questions you ask people who have, of, of your success, yeah? But just open up your brain and say, okay, <laughs> this totally blown me away. Yeah? Has, there, has there been anything in, in like that previously? Okay, it's, it's quite a hard question. Um, I think that um, I tell you the truth. Uh, I think the darkness was the first thing and the second that uh, I asked mentor. Uh, when I was on the beginning, um, uh, I had a few money and um, I, was, um, I started to negotiate with some investors in uh, 2011. So I think that uh, uh, 2011, it was um, a break even point for me that I, uh, I um, woke up, let's say, and uh, I think that in newspaper and magazines uh, they wrote about me that as I started business in 2010. That's true. I start to develop and on the beginning in 2010 I start to run around business in 2010 in autumn. But real startup Zasilkovna I think that uh, has bo was born in 2011 because I changed my mind and I start to do the business by right way because the, the year before it was one mistake by one mistake, I think. And uh, then I recognized and I opened my brain and I hired this uh, co-founders co from IT. And um, I think that uh, we uh, really uh, start to do very good startup. And the second thing that uh, in 2011, uh, I uh, decided to um, find some investor to help me with the, uh, you know, like fast, fast growing. And um, uh, I asked uh, some, uh, some man for, inv for investment. He became to be my investor. It's, some, it's somebody who is very close to me since these days. And um, he became to be my mentor. I paid for the, for the uh, advice and it was very good decision because he helped me a lot and I learned from him a lot. And I think that what I learned from my mistakes, from my life, from my experience, and as well from, from his side, I use it, I really use it, and uh, now I can help the others. So there are two things. Which actually leads me to another question. So if you were, if you were about giving a TEDx speech tomorrow, yeah, what, would be, what would it be all about? Yeah. Uh, you, you have a speech? No, or? if you were no. about to okay. give the TEDx speech tomorrow, yeah, what would it be all about? Yeah, having all these experiences mm -hmm. through. It's about, it's about uh, just meet your dream. Okay. Meet your dream and do it, uh, everything for that. And uh, be humble, mm -hmm. because I think that uh, if you are not humble, uh, you think uh, that um, then, then you, you think that uh, you can do something what is not real and then you make the mistake by mistake. So that's why I think that uh, it's, uh, it's better to take your e ego down. I'm sorry you are a man, but uh, um, <laughs> um, it's very important to um, answer yourself what you are best in. 
If you are best in, in IT, do it. If you are the best in negotiation, do it. Just start up needs um, uh, various people. It's not about one person. Mark Zuckerberg wasn't alone as well, and I wasn't alone as well. Nobody who uh, run the business, a startup, is not alone. So my message is just look after very good people and try to join them and obtain them for your side. I think it's the most important, definitely, because I wouldn't be there where I am without these people. And I'm nothing without them. And I think that's the most important answer and question. Everything is about the people. Okay, so final one. I would like to ask about the role of your personal life uh, in your business. Uh, because I read somewhere that your uh, husband is also running his business. Uh, how does it help? Uh, do you talk about your different businesses at home? And my second uh, question, how do you handle um, your, like, you have a large family. How do you handle your business and your large family? <laughs> I have all these firms as uh, another, ch another children. I really love mm -hmm. my businesses, so together I have like a 15 children, <laughs> uh, but uh, in real I have three kids. And all the time when I started some business, when I, I w was on some level of the business, all the time I was pregnant. <laughs> pregnant. So, um, and um, be honest, on the beginning it's really hard. And I worked as a dog and I almost didn't sleep and I developed uh, during the nights. And uh, then I uh, develop uh, until two in the morning and I push FP and uh, everything uh, was screwed up and <laughs> uh, disappear all the code and I was like crazy and started to cry and I had to start to develop again. So the beginning are really hard and you have to be ready for it. That is really like in incredible hard. And, um, uh, it wasn't easy to have small kid, baby, and uh, run the business together because uh, sometimes you have to hire people, sometimes you have to fire people. So, and um, I took my son, my first uh, son with me, and I hire and fire people with him. So, and uh, if I could, I took him um, uh, negotiate uh, with uh, with the partners, and it, it wasn't weird. I'm startupist, you know, so I can take uh, one of or two kids with me, that's normal. And um, I couldn't take my kids um, in a state official <laughs> uh, when I had negotiation with some uh, offi offices, uh, you know, like financial office or something like that. I couldn't take a kids there. But if I had another negotiation, it was just, it was like okay. And IT guys, they are really fine. So um, and e-shoppers as well. It's like on the same wave. Everything is free and okay. And so if you have three kids, there is no problem. We have dogs in our firm. And we have a lot of dogs in our office and a lot of kids and uh, if my firm um, grew up my dream is uh, to build a um, nursery is it nursery for small kids mm -hmm. to taking care about them yeah uh, yeah yeah is right word okay my my English is not even so fine as uh, has been in 2003 when I uh, live in America because I really don't use it a lot um, so it's my dream, you know, to have uh, in my firm a place uh, where we have uh, kids together and they will have some playground, they will play together and uh, my um, employees and uh, subordinates, they will, uh, they will be happy. So they will, they will have some IT nursery, you know, because um, I think that uh, we are not so uh, educated in IT and unfortunately it's a pity. So uh, I'm trying to um, bring some uh, ideas about uh, to bring more IT in the uh, basic school and in the high school because it's, it's not enough IT there and it's so, it's so sad. Uh, because uh, if we um, play uh, with gamif gamification with the people and we'll uh, try to um, with the kids and if we'll um, let them to fall in love in IT, it's our future because we need a lot of developers. And in 10 years, I would love to have a lot of developers from the people who are, or kids who would, would are seven or six years now. And I think it's the main message, but it's not your question. It's a little bit, I'm like, <laughs> I know. Uh, it's, it's a little bit on the side, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to talk about it because uh, it's my uh, real time with my three kids that I, I let them to work and play with the IT equipments. And I think that uh, it's right. 
and not not only what the game is, but uh, my son, he is six years old, and he understood what is uh, behind behind the bay websites. I tried. It's really very easy, you know, because code is quite easy, like coding. So we are trying to show them that there's a language behind it, it's like interesting, and uh, we do the same with the girls, because there is no difference. They can play on the same playground as well. And uh, uh, about my uh, private life, uh, I have a very great husband, and uh, thanks God, uh, because I'm uh, quite a crazy person. Um, uh, I think uh, I don't have uh, enough you know, because I could be fine, I could, I could fly uh, around the world and do nothing now, and um, I'm crazy about to open another startups, and I don't know if it happened or not, if uh, um, it, if is it uh, another um, apiary or if is it another <coughs> kivikum, I don't know, I'm just dream about it, because I think that uh, we, the Czechs are very smart in, on this IT level and uh, we can do everything uh, for, uh, to be uh, on the first level in Europe, not maybe global, mm. but definitely in Europe. That we are really smart and we, are, um, uh, we have very good uh, uh, success stories in startups. So I think like, uh, we have uh, a lot of to say. And um, uh, my husband uh, gave me the support from the beginning. Uh, sometimes he told me, like, uh, Simona, just finish the, finish the business uh, because I can't uh, look uh, after you how, how you are set. And, how we, I, and I looked really tired sometimes because I really worked uh, very hard during the nights. But now I work only six hours a day sometimes less because I have these three kids and I want to stay and uh, spend time with them. And uh, for me, um, my uh, startups and my firms, uh, they are not on the, first, uh, for on the first level. For me as a god, the second family, my kids, and the second third is uh, business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Simona, that you make a time for us. Thank you very um, much uh, that you are coming and I will keep the fingers in your uh, future and in your future uh, project. Uh, hopefully I will tell you some stories and some uh, points maybe can help you and thank you. Okay. Thank you.